because it's my source of escape. It's my passion and it's what I love to do and it's what gets me through the day and keeps me out of trouble. My name is Juan Carlos Chavez. I'm 18 years old and I'm currently going to college and just trying to get my education and I dance. I'm currently in two crews, one that I that has been together for like two years now. It's called 2DK. And then another one that started in school last year called the Asiacans. Um, Asiacans was, uh, it, it started off as, it was just like a little club in high school a little dance club and then when it came to talent show we needed uh we wanted an official name because it was mine and Juan Carlos's last year and we, we don't want to go uh, into the talent show having just um Madison's dance club so we created Asian Kids because the, the the crew consisted of both Asians and Mexicans only. There were six Asians and two Mexicans before and right now we have six Asians and one Mexican. Who's the one Mexican guy left? Juan Carlos. How come there's so little Mexicans now in the crew? Um, I think it's like a mixture of like not a lot of people like wanting to join because they're like not sure of like like they're they don't, either they don't know about it or they're just not they don't know if they're good enough for it. Like even when I joined, even when they asked me to join, I was kind of like a bit overwhelmed because I was like. I, I was confident in what I do, but then again, these guys have been doing it and have been known around in school for doing it for like a while now. So I knew I had to like step my game up to like match to their level, especially since they're break dancers, which is like a little bit more like there's more skill to that. Honestly, when 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 I first met um, Juan Carlos, it was in English class, and, and we did that little circle thing, you know, where everyone has to get to know each other and then, like, you know, say a little something about themselves. And then when Juan Carlos said he loved to dance, I looked at him, I was like, he's a dancer? What? Nah. And then, honestly, like, I was kind of hating on him at first, but then when I actually saw him get down, then I gave him respect. My first impression was like, cool dancer, and he's in the crew. Cool! <laughs> I was just excited to work with him and dance with him. Does it feel weird to be like an all-Asian crew? Honestly, in the beginning, it did. When I joined, like the first time I went to practice with them in the gym, it was, it was a bit, again, overwhelming because I was in, I felt like I didn't fit in. I just felt like I was kind of like the one that stands out, not only to like the crowd, but myself too. What did other people say or, or like think about you being in like an all-Asian crew? And um, it was like a little bit of mixture, like a mixture of both. Like some people were supportive about it; they were like excited. But then there was also the skeptical people who like weren't sure of it, and they kind of like maybe some some of them played around, but some of them did sound serious. They like pretend they um they used to say like, "Oh, are you trying to be one of them, or are you trying to hang out with another crowd?" And yeah, so a lot of people were just like questioning me, like. Oh, how come you're doing it with them? Why don't you just make your own crew with your people? And in a way, it kind of bugged me because, I mean, from the start, it wasn't really about like the race or anything. I like I did it because I wanted to dance. I wanted like to learn more, get more knowledge from other dancers to add to my knowledge. And so, but it did kind of like got me thinking like, why? Like, I question like why is it a big deal if we're just doing the same thing? I think some people did kind of like try to get to me by saying like, oh, are you trying to be something that you're not? Or are you trying to like get into like another crowd, trying to fit in with somebody that you don't really belong in? Like they were thinking that like I was completely like going into a new culture and forgetting about my culture. In the beginning when I joined or even before I joined, like 
one of my insecurities was like people not supporting me or doubting me. Again, like people saying like, oh, you're not as good at them as good as them, or maybe you're like, you need more practice, or maybe just not even supporting me at all. Like, oh, why are you dancing when you could be doing other stuff? Why, you know, like, you're spending so much time in dancing, and. I mean, that used to get me because, you know, like, as not only as a dancer, but as doing anything, you kind of want support from your friends. Uh, there, there were times where I seen him at school and then I knew that something was wrong. Um, he, he never told me what was wrong, but I knew that something was wrong. But, and, and I was concerned for, uh, concerned for him, but um, I noticed that as time went by, then, then he just kind of just let all his stress out through dancing. And then from, from and that was his kind of way of venting, and then he made, he made it through. When I dance, like, I, like, use that as motivation, you know, I, like, blocked everybody out, like, all the negative stuff, and just dance, like, it's what, I, it's what I'm good at, so I was going to show them that if they supported me, then that was great, and if they didn't, then I would, like, show them that what I'm doing is serious, and I do have a passion for it, therefore, like, it's something they should see that I'm actually, like, trying to get better and trying to gain support. Has dancing with all Asians influenced you culturally? I got to see a whole different culture, a whole different kind of people, <laughs> like different foods, stuff like that. So, um, so right from the right from the get go, like we just like started learning more about each other. They, I learned some stuff about their culture. They learned some stuff about my culture. You know, whether it was music or like dance moves, like the way you dress, style. You know, the the whole painting is not really much of like influenced by by the Asian culture or stuff, but more more so like just like again their style, we made our own style. Most of us like painted our hair and then like the whole ponytail and stuff, you know. It's kinda not trying to be like them more so but just like just like taking a little bit of their of their style and their their character and just like applying it to mine so it's not so I can form like a unique character rather than just like be different. Like, no matter what ethnicity you are, no matter what style of dancing you do, that, that doesn't mean that we can't all bond and be together, you know? Because I'm a b-boy and then Juan Carlos is a popper and then I'm Asian and he's Mexican and then um, the, nowadays there's still a lot of feud between ethnicities and I guess um, us, us combining Asians is saying that, that it, it, it's not impossible for two different ethnicities to come together and get along. I thought he was, really, he was a really cool person and so fun to be around with. And that guy, is, that guy's like my bro, he's like my brother right there. Because that's the whole point of the crew. Like we, um, we joined to like mix two different, not only two different dance styles, but like two different cultures and backgrounds. And rather than letting it uh, affect us or rather than people letting people know like, oh, only this certain race can do this, only this certain race can do that. Instead, we like erased that and just like got together for what we love to do, which is dance. Mess, mess what you call it. You're gonna get paid for this? Yeah, why would he mess? 